everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to film a festival look because there is a festival coming up where I live and what better way to celebrate than to film a festival look. This look was created using products that are very affordable, mostly drugstore products that you can find in like any pharmacy or Priceline or Kmart or anything like that. Don't stress about having to go out and spend loads of money on makeup to create a look like this. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to start off, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid just to prep them lids for my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I really don't know what I'm aiming for with this look, so it could turn really bad or it could be really good. We don't know, but we will find out. To set that down, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Translucent Powder, and I'm just gonna take that on a little fluffy brush. Pat that onto my lid. This is just going to create a really nice base for your eyeshadow just so that it goes on very smooth and it doesn't go patchy or anything like that. Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Morphe 350 palette. So as per usual, I'm going to take my MAC 224 and for the transition, I'm going to take this kind of light orange shade here, apply that in the crease. For the eyeshadow, I'm really gonna like blow it out to the sides here because I wanna make it like really like smoky and kind of just over the top for a festival look. Next, I'm gonna go in with a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just going to take this darker orange shade up here, apply that just below that transition shade to like darken up the crease, add more definition to the eye. I'm just going to pick up this dark brown shade here, just on a clean blending brush. This one's from Chi Chi. Blend that to the outer V of my eye, just to really darken up that outer corner. Again, I'm just like blowing it out to the outer corners so that it appears really smoky. And then just going back in with that transition shade here, just going over the top of that darker color I just put on the outer corner and just blending it up so there's no harsh lines or anything. This one isn't blending out as well as this one did and it's really frustrating me. And then just going back in with that dark color and just going over the top, more of like a, kind of like a pinky red kind of shimmer to the eye. I'm going to take this color down here, just on my MAC 224, and I'm going to blend that over the whole crease color, just to kind of add a little bit more color to the eye. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a cut crease just to sharpen the inner corners of my eye. I'm just going to take the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer again but in the shade Fair Claire and just on a little flat headed brush. Now that the concealer is down, I'm going to be taking a small fluffy flat headed brush and I'm just going to take some loose translucent powder and just set that concealer, applying some glitter to the cut crease. So I'm just going to take a larger flat headed brush and just some lash glue and I'm just going to apply some of that glue to the brush. And I'm just going to pat that onto the lid. Dip the brush in there. And then just pat that glitter. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Onto the lid. That glitter literally went everywhere. I don't know if you can see, but it's all over my face. 
I'm going back in with that Morphe palette. I'm going to take that darker brown color I used and just kind of blend that glitter out into the shadow. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush and just pick up that orange shade here and just blend the top out as well. This is exactly why you want to apply your eyeshadow before your foundation or anything like that because if you do have fallout it is easy to just wipe away whereas if you're wearing foundation already you can't really get the glitter or anything like that off of your face. So for foundation I'm going to be taking the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 24 hour foundation in the shade Ivory and I'm going to be mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Golden Natural, the shade is. So I'm just going to be mixing these two colours together on the back of my hand. So just apply that with my finger all over my face. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Chi Chi buffing brush. I'm going to a festival this weekend called Listen Out. Um, if you live in Perth, you'll know that we don't really have many like really big festivals where like it's like a huge turnout. So I'm really excited because the only festival I've been to is GTM. I've been to GTM twice and I was 15 the first time I went and 17 this year when I went so this is the first over 18s festival that I've been to so I'm really excited for that the thing I love about festivals is just like everyone's like in their zone and like nobody really cares like what anyone else is thinking or doing like the vibes are just really good and no one really cares about anything at festivals so that's why I love them okay to conceal my under eyes I'm going to be taking that age rewind concealer in the shade medium moyen and I'm just going to apply that right under my eyes and then to set that concealer down I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Match Perfection translucent powder again and just on a beauty blender apply that under my eyes just to prevent my concealer from creasing so while I'm waiting for that to set I'm just going to take my Rimmel London Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder and I'm just going to take that on my Real Techniques blending brush, blending brush, um, powder brush, and just set the rest of my face down. To contour my face, I'm going to be taking the Models Prefer Contour Palette. I'm just going to be taking the shade here. This one is the shade 4, I believe. I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones. So I'm just going to brush away that excess powder under my eyes. For contour I'm going to take this small flat headed brush here and I'm just going to go in with this shade here. It is shade number six I think. I'm going to contour my forehead as well. Just to sharpen up them bronzer and contour lines I'm just going to take my Translucent powder again on the flat side of a beauty blender and just kind of carve out a nice line under there and just let that sit for a little while. Okay, and for blush I'm going to be taking the Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Bury Me Up and I'm just going to take that on a Real Techniques blending brush. This is like a really pretty pinky colour so I don't want to go too overboard with this one just because I've got like oranges and I don't want the colours to clash at all but I'm just going to brighten up the cheeks with a little bit of that to highlight my face I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Illuminated Highlighter and I'm just going to take that on a Real Techniques fan brush this is such a beautiful shade I don't know if you can see but it's like an iridescent pink colour and the shimmer in it is absolutely insane. So I'm going to really go overboard with this because it's festival look so why not? I'm just going to take that up towards my temples as well. Just give like an all round glow. So I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit and I'm going to take this shade down here, just on a little blending brush. 
take that down the sides of my nose. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, take a little pencil brush and just kind of go in with that dark orange shade here. Just apply that right below my waterline. Just to, gonna take that from outer corner to inner corner just so it blends the whole look together nicely. And I'm going to go in with that darker shade down here and just apply that to the outer corner of my eye. This shade right here, it's like an iridescent pink color when it goes on the skin. I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. For my brows, I'm taking my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde, just on my Chi Chi Brow Brush, as per usual. I'm just going to brush them brows out with my spoolie. Just make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Just pop a little bit of product on the end of that brush, just to calm out my brows. So that they're nice and defined. I'm just going to set it down with a white eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take this one up here. I feel like this really just, like this simple tiny step completely sharpens up your eyeshadow look and it kind of just brings it all together. So I think if you're wanting like really nice sharp looking brows and sharp looking eyeshadow, then definitely don't miss this step. Like it's so simple, but I think it's very effective. So for this look, I am going to apply some lashes and I'm not going to do them on camera because that will just not end well for me. So I just bought these little Lash Studio eyelashes from Kmart. I think they were like $4. So I'm not really sure how these are gonna go on, but they're definitely affordable if you can't afford to buy expensive lashes. So definitely head over to Kmart. They've got like a range from like $4 to maybe $15. Okay, so the lashes are on. They were really hard to apply these ones. And you can't even tell that much that I'm wearing lashes. So I think I'm going to go in with some white eyeliner just to really like brighten up the eyes and give the illusion that my eyes are a little bit wider. Before lips, I'm just going to take this Essence Lip Liner in the shade 11, I think. I think that's the shade 11 um, and I'm just going to line my lips. I did overdraw my lips with the liner just for this look because first of all look like you want to have nice big juicy looking lips. I'm going to try going in with a like a red gloss over the top. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of white lip liner down the center of my lips. This look is inspired by Shani Grimman. She did a festival look and she did the white line down her lip. So I'm just going to try that out and see how it looks. I'm just going to take some face and body paint. So I'm going to take like the hard end of a brush and just dip it in the paint and I'm just going to create some like dots above my brow. I also went out and I bought some little glitter, they're like little diamond shaped pieces. I'm just going to try and put one of these on each little dot on my face. I don't know if you can see, but they went on quite nicely. Okay, so this is the end result of my festival look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just went in with some more highlighter and just put some of those little diamantes on the inner corners of my eye. And I am really happy with this look. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will leave all of the products that I use, the names and the shades of them down in the description below. Please leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Mm -hmm. find, a way, find a way, find your way to me.